Before that Meghan and their exclusive deal with Spotify, Meghan Markle is reportedly spending a lot of time in LA. At that time, there were many questions that were raised why would Spotify spoil her with this diva treatment when she's a rubbish podcast host? Maybe a clue? On Twitter today, a photo of Meghan was posted with a mysterious man. It seems that he's the co-founder of Spotify, and he's worth $3.7 billion. We know she likes Italians and billionaires, plus he's single. So she's allegedly entangled with one of two co-founders of Spotify. The post said the man is Italian, but the picture is alleged to be of a Swede, Martin Lawrenson. Meghan reportedly cheated on Trevor with Patrick J. Adams. Samantha repeated a rumor about Meghan becoming involved with one of her Suits co-stars during her marriage to Trevor Angelson. We heard through the grapevine that Meg was involved with someone on the show. I was in shock because I thought they had a marriage that defied all odds in Hollywood, Samantha wrote. Also, she cheated on her ex-boyfriend Corey with Harry. Meghan Markle was still living with a chef, then boyfriend Corey Vitellio, when she went on her first date with Prince Harry. Tom Bauer writes that Meghan's two-year romance with Vitellio, a Toronto-based chef, was in its last throes when she met Harry. They still shared a home together. The book also claims that two weeks after their first date on July 1, 2016, Harry secretly flew to Toronto. He stayed for about one week in the house of a friend of Meghan's, probably Jessica Mulroney, with Corey still sharing Meghan's home. The situation for Meghan was tricky but manageable. At the end of the week, after he returned to London, Meghan was convinced that her spell was cast, and the relationship with Harry would be sealed. She told Corey that their affair was over, Bauer writes. According to the book, Vitellio was relieved, the final months had been unpleasant. It's not the first time Meghan's affair has been brought to light. Samantha Markle claimed in a book that Meghan was dating chef Corey Vitiello at the same time she started seeing Prince Harry. Samantha wrote, what confused me was that if Meghan and Harry had been dating for six months, she would have been dating Harry at the same time she was dating the restaurateur who seemed like a good fit. She continued, I imagine that Corey will be devastated by being dumped for a prince. Or was she dating them both simultaneously? I was sure it could be uncomfortable for either of them. Therefore, will she cheat on Harry? Who knows? It reappears when Spotify has recorded losses of about $884 million in the six months ending June, the same period the company axed their high-profile deals with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and the Obamas. Now, in a new interview with The Wall Street Journal, Spotify chief executive Daniel Leck admitted the company probably overpaid for some content but claimed the investments helped Spotify achieve its goal of becoming the top podcast platform. Despite topping the podcast charts in its first weeks, Archetypes quickly descended down the podcast charts as each episode was released. Spotify was also accused of artificially keeping archetypes in the top podcast section despite the fact the number of actual listeners each week was far lower.